how are you doing today? My name is Tina Encarnacion. I'm a life coach, Reiki master, and essential oil advocate. And today I want to talk to you about grief. I um, have been struggling this month. This month marks the 12 year anniversary of my daughter's death. And so I've been having a really hard time with my emotions. I'll go from extreme highs to extreme lows, um, really severe, deep, dark depression to um, being okay with the situation and just missing her. And so I kind of wanted to come in and talk with you guys about it because people will judge me because of grief. Um, no one wants to talk about the loss of a child. It's something that is an elephant in the room and people want to know what's wrong with you. But then when you tell them what's wrong with you, they, they don't know what to say or what to do or how to react. And they kind of wish they hadn't asked that question. And so you may relate, you may have lost someone in your life. You may be battling with grief and you may be questioning yourself how long will this grief last? How should you be acting? How should you be processing this loss? And I want to let you know that there is no one way to deal with loss. There is no set time on how long you should have to grieve. Everyone goes through their own journey and their own struggles and how grief affects you and how you digest it is okay. I have gone through so many emotions over the past 12 years. I have lost who I was at points. And so, you know, with it being the 12 year anniversary of my daughter's death, I thought I would come on and talk about it a little bit. Because let's face it, when, when you lose a child, no one wants to hear about it. No one wants to talk about it. Um, lots of people lose their friends and family over it. And it's something that is very painful and very lonely. And so I wanted to come on here and talk to you about my journey with this grief that now seems to be a good friend of mine. <laughs> so when I lost Trinity 12 years ago, I felt like I had to be strong for everybody else around me. And I didn't allow myself to grieve her. Um, I, I didn't cry. I didn't um, act like I lost anything. I stayed strong for my family and is strong for my friends and just went on with life as if nothing had ever happened. And I continued on that path for about eight years, pretending like nothing was wrong. I was, I would be become severely depressed every August and isolate myself to get over it. And then I would pull myself up out of the grief in September and go on with life like nothing had ever happened. And about eight years into this grief process, I had a mental breakdown and I couldn't function for many months because of it. And that's when I started going to therapy and I started acknowledging my loss and I started acknowledging that I, I was grieving. Um, since Trinity's lost, I've had three beautiful babies. I've gotten married and found an amazing man to be my husband and to support me through this loss. Even though it wasn't his child, he's still very supportive. My oldest daughter was due on Trinity's birthday and she never met her old, oldest sister, but she still remembers her memory and she celebrates her birthday every year with her. Um, and so even though my family that I have now never got to meet my precious daughter. She's still very much a part of our family. Um, and so I want to let you know that it's okay to grieve even 12 years later. It's okay to be sad. It's okay to celebrate that life. It's okay to acknowledge that life existed. Um, and don't ever let somebody judge you or make you feel guilty for grieving. Don't ever let somebody think that you have to do it at a certain pace or a certain speed. Don't ever let somebody tell you how um, grief should look or how you should act. Be your own self and believe in yourself and allow yourself the space you need to grieve. I spent the last three days in bed missing my daughter and not knowing 
how to process her loss. And thankfully, my kids allowed me that time and that space and took care of me during this time, giving me grace and mercy um, and allowing me this time. And I am blessed that I have a family that supports me in my, in my loss and loves me enough to carry me through my depression when I have it. I'm not depressed all the time. Um, I allow myself the sadness in the month of August and the grace and the mercy so that I can get past it. But um, I just, I was having a conversation with a coworker and he asked me, um, he said I didn't seem like myself because I'm normally a very bubbly, happy person. And he asked hey, why I took a couple days off work and I don't share my loss very often with many people. And so I let him know I was, I took a couple days off work because um, it was my daughter's birthday that had passed and the anniversary of her death and I took that time off to give myself time to heal the losses, heal the pain. And he didn't know what to say. He was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize that you had lost a daughter. And he was kind of lost himself, not knowing what words to say or how to react. Or, And I just had to tell him, it's okay. It's okay that I lost her, it's okay that she passed away, and it's okay that you don't know what to say, you don't have to have the words. That's why I don't talk about her often, because people don't know how to react when I mention the fact that I lost a daughter. But that's okay. Just the fact that I'm able to admit that she was here and allow myself the space and the time to grieve her loss and honor her is enough for me. So. I take that time every year to to honor her by myself so that I don't have to make others feel uncomfortable. And so um, I do that every year. I allow it. And um, I give myself that grace and that mercy to grieve her. And that's all that I can do. I can't expect anybody else to... Um, play any role in this. This is my journey of grief and I hope that you understand that you can also give yourself that mercy and that grace. You don't have to do it at a certain pace, a certain speed. You can do it exactly how you want. Honor that person that you've lost in the way that you want to. Don't allow someone else to dictate how you are allowed to grieve or how you must grieve or how long you should grieve. What emotions you should feel because this is your journey and you have to allow yourself the grace and mercy to allow your body to heal your mind to heal your emotions to heal in exactly the way that you need to be able to heal and move on past this loss if you um, are wanting to um, talk with someone about that if you're wanting to know how you may be able to pick the pieces up and move forward um, if you're wanting to know some techniques on how to overcome this grief, you can feel free to contact me at tinaincarnacion.com and I would love to help you in your journey of grief just as I'm going through my journey. Thank you so much for listening.